greetings in the name of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, this is an evening of devotion time and look forward to sharing my thoughts as well as Bob Goff's thoughts with you. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to make a couple uh, observations. One is Bob Goff is a person that Carol knows well and she appreciates him and so I appreciate him also. So it's good that we're working out of his devotional book. Uh, secondly, in this particular writing of, of, of Bob's, we have uh, an illustration of Peter Pan. And it made me remember back many, many years ago when our daughter, uh, Kendra, was performing on the Thalian stage, Opera House Theater, and she was Peter Pan. And I remember so vividly uh, that poignant scene where Peter Pan tries to reattach himself to his shadow. And uh, it really does uh, bring up the idea that all of us, when we look back into our lives, that we find times of struggle. And so it caused Bob Goff to use this illustration. And this is the 149th devotion in his book. And it's entitled, Grace Means Tomorrow's Always a Friend. And Yesterday Isn't an Enemy Anymore. Grace means tomorrow's always a friend. And yesterday isn't an enemy anymore. Well, he takes his thoughts from Isaiah 43, verse 18. And this reads like this. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. Let me read now his devotion. Peter Pan has a unique shadow. You might recall the scene from Disney movie when Peter and his shadow chase each other around the kids' room until Peter wrestles his shadow down so it, cannot, so it can be sewn back on his shoes. Sometimes our past gets stuck to us like our shadows. As much as we try to shake it off or run out, outrun it, we turn around and there it is. I suppose you could eliminate your shadow by living in total darkness, but that's no life either, is it? Sometimes I wish I could just detach my past from myself permanently. There'd be no chase on my part. I'd let it run out the door and wave, it as it, wave at it as it heads down the street. My friends, we can't escape our shadows like Peter Pan did, if only for a while. In some ways, our past is stuck to us no matter what we do. We don't need to let who we used to be to decide who we're going to be. When we treat the shadows of our past like they're living, breathing versions of ourselves today, we give our past too much power. Here's a truth that's worth believing. The stuff that happened yesterday that's hounding you is irrelevant to the tomorrow waiting to greet you. We can move forward in grace, knowing the fight with yesterday is over. Grace won, even if we don't realize it yet. Tomorrow is our neverland, where our, try, where our tries never run out of time. You can't escape your shout, of course, but you also don't have to give up as much air time. Grace means this. Tomorrow is always a friend. And it isn't that yesterday didn't happen. It just doesn't matter anymore. Bob Goff would like to pose this question to us as we conclude his thoughts. What from your past do you need to let go of today? Let me add some personal thoughts. I've discovered for myself that dealing with my past needs to involve the ability of forgiveness. That is being forgiven and then forgiving. Being right with God and being right with others allows you and me to move forward in a very healthy way. Now, I have to acknowledge this is a process. Forgiveness is a process. That too is a gift from God and we call that grace. So now, my friends, may we move forward graciously, doing no harm, doing all the good we can, and staying in love with God. Isn't it good that God welcomes you and me into each moment? And isn't it good for you and me to know that we are never alone?
Grace and peace to you on this day. Amen and amen.